Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everyone my name is Dr Muhammad Azrin bin Ahmad and I'm a senior lecturer from Center for Mathematical Sciences University Malaysia Pahang By the end of this video you as a student should be able to plot a point in polar coordinates convert a point from rectangular to polar coordinates and vice versa and last but not least identify and sketch graph in polar coordinates now let's try and take a look at polar coordinate in the first place let's try to recall what we are going to do when we try to plot a point in two dimensional coordinate system so basically you will have these two axes that represent y axis and x axis and then in order to present a point in two dimensional coordinate system you will have x coordinate and y coordinate which is written as what you can see on the screen but it will be totally different when it comes to polar coordinate system as you can see from the slide presentation you will have origin and also polar axis and this origin you can call it as fixed point also in this case this is your fixed point or we can label it as o which also represent origin and you will also have this part where you call it as polar axis If in two-dimensional coordinate system, a point can be represented as in bracket x and y, but when it comes to polar coordinate system, you will have r theta instead, where r represent the directed distance from point fixed point O to the point r theta, or it can be labeled as r as mentioned earlier. Other than that, you can have theta where we call theta as directed angle. And the directed angle theta is always measured from the polar axis up to the directed distance. The value r can either be positive or negative. Same goes to the value of theta. The value of theta can either be positive or negative in order to represent negative values of r when it comes to polar coordinate you have to sketch r theta first or you have to plot point r theta first and then you find the reflection along the same line passes through origin as what you can see on the slide presentation you can simply have this point r theta you plot point r theta first and then you find the reflection along the same line passes through point fixed point or origin and you will have your negative r and the value of theta will be carried from the r theta which you have sketched earlier all right the value of theta as mentioned earlier can either be positive or negative positive theta means that you measure your theta from the polar axis in counter clockwise direction Meanwhile, negative values of theta can be obtained when you measure your theta from polar axis in clockwise direction. Previously, in two-dimensional coordinate system, for example, if I ask you to plot point 1, 2 in rectangular, 
or to the coordinate system you will sketch these two axes y axis and x axis and then you will know that it will always start at the origin you will move one unit towards x axis positive and two units upwards to where it indicate the value of y is positive so point one two is somewhere in the first quadrant Okay, and it should tell you that the, the only way to plot point 1, 2 is it will be located in the first quadrant. That is the only way to plot point 1, 2. But that is not the case when it comes to polar coordinates. Such as that if I ask you to plot a point, there can be so many ways to present the same points. Since you can either manipulate the way you read the value of directed distance r or do you can manipulate the way you measure your directed angle theta okay so let's put into practice for example if i ask you to plot point one pi over four in polar coordinates Okay, you should, you should recall that the value pi over 4 in radian mode can be converted into uh, degree mode if you think that pi over 4 is quite uh, difficult to understand to begin with. So in this question, uh, pi over 4 is equivalent to 45 degree. So when it comes to 45 degree, it should tell you it will be somewhere in the first quadrant. Okay, so I'm going to have these two lines, but I'm not going to level them as y axis and x axis because right now we are talking about polar coordinates. So point 1 pi over 4. So you have to know that where is your pi over 4 and then you can make sure, since you can make sure the value of theta pi over 4 is somewhere in the first quadrant and at the same time you have to uh, recall that the value of theta is always measured from the polar axis so it will be somewhere in this direction where the value here is roughly 1 and here is pi over 4 so this is point 1 pi over 4 so it will be a straight line instead of just a dot in two dimensional coordinate system so like, like right now, let's put into practice such as we would like to demonstrate there are several ways to present the same point 1 pi over 4 in polar coordinate system. Perhaps we can try to manipulate with the way we read our theta. So our theta right now is positive since we measure our theta in counterclockwise direction. What will happen if we measure our theta in clockwise direction? So, in this direction, by using this red arrow, I should know that since uh, previously, uh, we know that the portion of this is actually pi over 4. So, the remaining angle should be 2 pi minus pi over 4. So, in this case, I will get 7 pi over 4. But, you have to remember, since we measure our theta in clockwise direction, so I should put negative values. Okay, since I measure my uh, theta in clockwise directions. So, let me put down some notes here. So the other way to present this point 1 pi over 4 by manipulate the way we measure our theta is 1 negative 7 pi over 4. Okay. So what will happen if we double our theta? Okay. What I mean by double, let me sketch the point again.
so if I decided to measure my theta double which is in this direction I know that pi over 4 plus 2 pi is equal to 9 pi over 4 again 1 9 pi over 4 is another way to plot point 1 pi over 4 so let's take a look at how we can present the same point 1 pi over 4 but this time around we would like to manipulate uh, the way we read our r or the way we measure our r all right okay so let me re-sketch the point I do mention that I'm I'm right now talking about uh, the reflection. Am I right? If you have negative R values, so let's try to extend the ori uh, the original point one pi over four by using this dotted line. So I know here is pi over four. So by using the properties of angle, this one should be also pi over four. So if we measure our theta from the polar axis in this arrow. Uh, you will see that it will give you pi plus pi over 4 which is 5 pi over 4 alright so let's use that information so the ang uh, the, this is our new angle and at the same time the length of our r should remain the same so I will say to you that negative 1 5 pi over 4 is actually represent 1 pi over 4 so if you try to at least get an understanding and you try to reason to yourself why negative 1 5 pi over 4 represent the same point 1 pi over 4 so you have please remember what I mentioned to you in the in the il earlier part of this video such as uh, in order to plot negative values of r theta you have to plot r theta first and then you find its reflection so this is indeed true for this case 1 pi 5 pi over 4 is somewhere over here okay this is 1 5 pi over 4 so if we are looking for negative 1 5 pi over 4 so it will reflect 0.1 pi over 4 so it is indeed true negative 5 pi over 4 represent the same point 1 pi over 4